Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you already put some new all-time highs like I am, make sure to please drop a like on the video. Alright guys, happy Monday. So far today, AMC is down around 4% on the day. At open, it was on a little bit more and hopefully we're trending slowly up towards even then towards the green here. But overall, as you see on this heat map right here throughout the market, there is a lot of red in the market. We're seeing certain large cap stocks down 2%, 3%. There is some huge, huge red across the market. Now, the reason we're seeing some red across the market is definitely partially because the Evergrande collapse. We are seeing this unfold in China. The, the property group is risking default right now. China, highly distressed real estate company, are at risk of collapse as the country's highly indebted developer Evergrande is on the brink of default, warns Alliance Bernstein Jenny Zing. I want to say about three to four days ago, I made an entire video on my channel about Evergrande before it was really like being talked about. And I even said in the video that I don't think a lot of people are taking this seriously enough. And sure enough, it seems like the market is catching up to the news because we are seeing some red across the board. But let's talk about what will happen with AMC if we continue to see this red. So coming back over here to the heat map mixed up with small cap, mid cap and large cap stocks, what we have to realize is that a lot of these hedge funds that are currently shorting AMC also have a lot of these different names in their portfolios. And as these names lose value over the next few days or maybe over the next few weeks, some of these hedge funds could find themselves in a position where they have to sell off some shares or they could even be margin called because remember guys, because remember guys, we've talked about it before about how the hedge funds are more over leveraged right now than they've ever been in history. And having a very leveraged portfolio isn't necessarily all that big of a deal when the market's going straight up. But when the market pulls back, you could be at the risk of margin calls. So, so one of the theories is that the hedge funds will be forced to close out some of the short positions with AMC and that the MOAs will happen a lot sooner because of this pullback. Next up, guys, taking a look at orders by Fidelity customers today, we do have 3,618 buy orders versus 2,354 sell orders. So the retail investors are buying the dip on AMC yet again today. I've been looking across the community chatter on Twitter and Reddit, and it does feel like the community is ready to buy the dip here. So we're going to have to see how much of the retail gets in on the action day while AMC is still down in price a little bit. The last thing to look for throughout the rest of this day is to see if AMC will start to trade as a VIX, meaning that when the market keeps pulling down, see if AMC and GME and some other names start trading upwards because we have seen that before. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like on this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.